Best bang for your buck that you could get right now in an all-inclusive resort in Jamaica. Can one of these resorts give you the exact getaway that you and your crew have been needing? That's what this list of top 10 all-inclusive resorts in Jamaica is here to help you figure out. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rockland. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when you're picking your next vacation. Now the first three that I'm going to mention will be the five star resorts that I recommend. So number 10 is Bahia Principe Grand Jamaica and it's excellent for a week's vacation. You'll enjoy the relaxing vibe. It takes about an hour to get from the airport. You can tell that they've not had a full renovation in a while, but that doesn't stop this Ocho Rios resort from sporting a five-star rating. The people who work there will give you all the attention you desire while being nice about it. The food and drinks here will be excellent. The beach is dope and clean. The resort's entertainment is fun and engaging. You're gonna wind up wanting to add a few extra days to your trip. Number nine is Sandals. Be one of the first to experience this new resort in Jamaica. Sandals has pulled out the bag and they're planning to take over all of the travelers coming to Jamaica in the near future. Sandals Resorts International just held a groundbreaking ceremony for its three new Jamaica resorts. The event marked the first phase of a $230 million project that will include Sandals Duns River followed by phase two, transforming the oceanfront land into Sandals Royal Duns River. I'm imagining water bungalows, on-site scuba diving excursions, scenery, and food never experienced before in Jamaica. These rooms are not available for sale yet, but mark my words, this is gonna be big. The company is also planning an over $250 million renovation of its third new location in Ocho Rios, Beach's Runaway Bay Resort. At its completion, the hotel will have an estimated 400, one, two, three, and four bedroom suites designed with extended families in mind. Guests of Beaches Runaway Bay also have access to Runaway Bay Golf Club and its par 72 18 hole championship golf course. The only thing they haven't announced is an adults only compound. When they do, they will officially take over Jamaica and I can't wait to go and book others so we can see what they have in store. Number eight is Moon Palace. Now everyone that I've sent to this magnificent resort has had nothing but great things to say about it. This resort is probably the furthest away from the airport in the beautiful city of Ocho Rios. The Moon Palace in Jamaica blows the other resorts by the same name in other countries out of the water. They have a new concept called the Jumping Dinner, where they take you on a journey to all of their restaurants for a special sample of all of their food. Each stop is amazing and the food is out of this world. This is also a pretty expensive resort per night, but it's well worth the cost. Number seven is Iberostar Grand Rose Hall. Now these all-inclusive resorts that I picked for the next three are best when purchased with airfare included. Iberostar Grand Rose Hall is an adults-only, all-inclusive, five-star resort. I have an entire video about my visit to Iberostar Rose Hall, which you can find in the link above and in the description. This resort is steeped in cultural history while still offering plenty of modern entertainment. This is the party resort. Excursions like zip lining in the Jamaican jungles, horseback riding on the beach, or the once in a lifetime experience of swimming with dolphins makes this trip to Iberostar worth it even when you're not in the hotel. But when you get back to the resort, the foam pool party and chilling in the swim up bar with your crew is an experience you can't find anywhere else. You can get some great deals when you include airfare while booking this resort. Number six is the Royal Decameron Club Caribbean. And you can get like four days for about $11.90 including the flight. This affordable family friendly resort is located on Runaway Bay in Jamaica's north coast. It features 500 yards of fabulous beachfront. Non-motorized water sports and a host of land activities for all ages are included. Both buffet and a la carte dining options are available. They got some really cheap discounted rates valid for travel from May 16th through August 31st, 2021. Make sure you contact me to plan a group trip to this all-inclusive paradise. And watch to the end of this video so you can download my free ebook called Make Money Online so you can travel more. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. Now number five is Breathless Montego Bay. With full waiting services at the pool and on the beach, a fully stocked mini bar and 24 hour room service, everything you need to enjoy yourself is right at your fingertips. Pet lovers will also be pleased to know that this resort welcomes small dogs. So your furry friend will be able to join you on this all-inclusive adventure in Jamaica. 
Live DJs will keep the party jumping until you burn off your oxtail and rum calories. They even have themed nights. They'll have a tropical beach night, a glow stick party, or a silent disco. Imagine that all while enjoying premium top shelf liquor. With a full view of the surrounding mountains, you may truly feel like you're in paradise. This is the perfect resort for people who want to party hard. So make sure when you book your vacation that you include the weekend in your days. Have you been to Jamaica in the past year? What resorts do you recommend? Do you recommend Airbnbs instead? Write your thoughts and comments below. Now number four is catching falling stars in the grill. The next three is what the couples have been waiting for. These all-inclusive resorts in Jamaica are best experienced with your significant other. There are other people around, but quiet time and exotic scenery is where these resorts take the cake. The Catch a Falling Star Resort has a much greater sense of intimacy and will be perfect for a romantic getaway. With just eight cottages and one main building, Catch a Falling Star is also by far the cheapest option of these three for couples. Most of the cottages cost less than $200 per night. You'll be able to enjoy the beautiful Jamaican landscape on a more modest budget. At night, you can choose to visit the historical Ivan's Bar and Restaurant, open to the public from 5 p.m. each evening, or the 100 Candle Dinner as an essential part of your romantic getaway. They have private dining areas with a dinner for two set up on a cliffside. This is perfect for two lovers to share their secrets under the stars or give each other a hand job. Ivan's also have an interesting mythical history, so it may be an interest of those who wish for a cultured vacation spot. I wouldn't say that Catcher Falls is perfect for those who wish to meet new people due to the self-contained nature of the cottages, but this will be an experience that a couple will never forget. And if you want to turn up, you'll probably have to catch a driving cab <laughs> off the resort. Now number three is the Hyatt Zalara Rose Hall. At night sitting by the floating fire pit drinking your favorite liquor is dope. The bartenders here should be award winning because they know exactly how to mix a drink and make it strong enough to get a good buzz going. The live entertainment should also be award winning because they know how to cut a rug. International performers provide everything from acrobat shows to Caribbean steel drum concerts that'll give Vegas shows a run for the money. Hyatt Zalara doesn't have the party reputation of places like Breathless in Jamaica, but they still get down. The ballroom and meeting spaces give Rose Hall a more sophisticated edge. But it's perfect for a low-key vacation and it's perfect for an intimate getaway to spend time alone with that special someone. Just remember that this spot is mainly for couples. The best time to go is right now and y'all will have a really good authentic experience in Jamaica. Now number two is Grand Palladium Lady Hamilton. Like I said in the full length video that I made when I visited Grand Palladium Lady Hamilton, which you can find in the link above, this place looks photoshopped. It's like stepping into another world. Until I visited Zanzibar, I had never seen a beach that was so clean and untouched by humans like you'll experience when you get to Grand Palladium Lady Hamilton. This resort is located in Lucy, which is only like a 20 minute drive from the center of Montego Bay and the airport. The staff will take really good care of you and you'll feel like family in about two to three hours. The food at the buffet restaurant tastes like you're paying $1,000 a plate. If you've never been to Jamaica, but you have any interest in visiting, book a flight today and stay at Grand Palladium Lady Hamilton. It's not even that expensive and you will love it. Do you have a group trip coming up? I have six plus years of organizing group trips for vacations to Vegas, the Caribbean, and Africa. I'll make sure that you get the lowest prices on a superb getaway that you and your crew won't soon forget. So contact me at Rockland at PassportKings.com or ThePassportKings at gmail.com so I can set up an amazing experience for you and your folks. But if you only need an individual trip, just like a cheap flight, Go to the updated www.passportkings.com and you can compare offers from over 4 million flights and hotel brands in one place. Now number one is the Ryu Palace. My friends and I will be in Ryu Montego Bay this 